Hello, my name is Kari Kuglin and I'm the product architect for the FieldSync Health product here at FieldSync. Today I'm going to go through part two of our series on configuring your security settings in FieldSync Health. So I've logged into the website as an administrator user, which gives me access to this settings button. So I'm going to go ahead and select the settings. And when I select settings, I get to my settings area where I can configure all of my settings specific to my company and how I want it to work. So let's focus again on the security tab. Within the security tab, we are able to manage the security of our data and also the access to it. Now in the first video, we did these first two settings under login and application timeout, where I showed you how you can protect your mobile device. Today, we're going to talk about a new feature that we are releasing in version 2.4 called the emergency button. Now, before we get started, let me explain some use cases to you how this emergency button might be used. And to do that, what I'd like to do is jump over to the mobile application and show you what it looks like. So here I've logged in as a mobile user and on my main menu, you can see down here in the lower left-hand corner is the emergency button. Now you can configure your emergency button for a few different purposes. Some examples might be, first of all, you can set it in case there is a true emergency and you can set it to automatically dial 911 if you'd like to do that. You could also set it to make a phone call to possibly an on-call phone number. So let's say within your organization you have an on-call pager or cell phone number that travels with whoever is on call, you can automatically set it to call that number. And then a third example might be technical support. Let's say you just want to build into your application technical support. So if any of your users have issues out in the field, they can select that button and automatically contact your technical support. So there are a few different ways that you can utilize this button. And now I'm gonna show you how you can configure it and set it up. So let's come over here to our web interface again. We're here underneath our security tab. Now there are three different actions that you can set to occur every single time that emergency button is selected by any user. The first setting is to make a phone call. So as I mentioned, you can set that button to automatically dial any phone number, whether it's 911, an on-call number, technical support, you can set it to automatically do that. Now if your user is using a device that doesn't have a phone, it will alert them that there is not the ability to make that phone call. The second setting is to send an email. Now in this box over here, you can indicate as many addresses as you'd like to receive an email regarding information about that emergency button being selected. So any address that is entered here, anytime any user selects that button, an email notification will be sent automatically to the email addresses indicated in this box. In that email, they will get information about the date and time that it was selected, the user that selected it, the device that it was selected on, and also the GPS coordinates of that device. Now this setting here allows you to also send an email to the user's emergency contacts. Now let me show you where that can be set. So we'll come over here to our admin interface and our user management. So let's go ahead and select our DDS admin. I'm gonna select edit. And under this user's profile, you can see here that we have an emergency email enabled box with an email address box and an SMS enabled and an SMS address box. So what you can do is for that setting, if you choose, for each user, you can come in here and select a specific email address to only send an email to if that specific user selects the emergency button. So this way, for each of your users, if you have someone, maybe it's a family member or a guardian that you also want to be alerted that that user selected that button, then you can configure that specific to each user. So I'm going to cancel out of here and go back to our settings and the security tab. So down here, you will see now that that setting 
If I have that selected, we'll send an email to those user emergency contacts. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to just send one email as a blanket email for all of my users. The same functionality is available for SMS or text messages. So you can enter again as many SMS addresses that you would like to receive that same notification. Now, when entering in this information, we put in some helpful information down here below it so that you can see based on the cell phone carrier, you will need to uh, enter that information a little bit differently because each carrier handles those SMS messages a little bit different. So you'll need to put in the phone number and then the appropriate ending to that address based on which carrier it is. So again, this is a setting for all users anytime the emergency button is selected. Anyone entered here will also receive a text message. And we also duplicate the SMS emergency contact. Um, so over in the user settings, so if you have this selected, then those SMS addresses that were indicated for each user will also get that text message. And then finally, you can change the button label. So when I showed you over on the mobile, we had it set by default to emergency. But if you want to go in and change this to technical support or on call, you can make that change so that it's very clear to your users what the functionality is surrounding that button. Okay, so now let's go over to the mobile again and see how that works. So here I have my mobile device. I've already configured my settings that I just went through with you. So I'm going to select the emergency button. You'll see that as soon as I select it, it tells me that an email and a text message have been sent. Now if I don't have email set turned on, if I don't have text messaging turned on, that message will differ. So I select OK. And now it brings up the phone number that's been set for my company and allows me to make a phone call. I've also set this specific phone number as my SMS message, so that came through really quickly. And you can see this is the SMS message that the emergency button in FieldSync Health was selected, date and time, which user, and the GPS location of that user. I will also be receiving an email message to my FieldSync mobile address based on those settings. So I'll close this message so you can see that it allows your user to automatically select call and place that phone call and be able to get in touch with whoever that button is programmed for immediately. So you can see that this functionality can be very valuable. Whichever way you want to use it, then you have that flexibility. And as I mentioned, you can either, if you choose to turn off that functionality, all you need to do is come into the settings here and unselect each of these buttons. So essentially you have no settings configured and then your mobile users will still see the emergency button, but it will be grayed out and they won't be able to do anything with it. So this concludes part two of configuring your security settings and thank you for your time.